yeah, Pyro, good afternoon. Quick update on Sinclair C56R. So you'll see some videos now in a slightly weird order because when I first started this about a week ago, I thought I, I, I just wasn't planning on doing a full body off restoration. It's only on Sunday when I thought, you know what, I might as well just do the full, the full job, full works. So you'll see a slightly weird order of the videos, that's all. But anyway, check out the videos, check out the progress. It's all in bits. I'm hoping now, now it's all painted, I can now rebuild the chassis. Maybe you want, maybe on sort of Saturday or Sunday, I'm thinking once it's given it a few good days to dry. So yeah, anyway, check out the video and um, yeah, enjoy. Cheers. Right, and yep, so here's the motor looking good. So this is why it's, it's really important that people um, rebuild their motors first. Because basically this is really tight as expected because all oh, the a bit of grass in there now because I put it on the grass. It's basically all the gearbox um, grease, fair play from the 80s has completely dried up and there's hardly it was virtually nothing in there that's why it's so so important to rebuild these fully before you run them um, bearing needs oiling that needs lubrication and that should then just spin around really nicely um, the motor does spin lovely and the bearings wow really really nice so those should be good hopefully the ones on this end will be good as well remember on this end there's two washers so you have the curved washer then the flat washer on there as well which is cool so hopefully that's in good nick when i take that, take that apart but yeah that's see that this motor feels really really good um again same as this this is all not physically clean as well so i'm really pleased uh, with that and looking at the splines they're in not bad they're not bad condition you know i'd probably sort of rate that as sort of maybe like um sort of seven out of ten i would kind of rate that I remember if it's too thin then the belt will slip then it's knackered you know so um that's i feel that's sort of sort of six and a half seven out of ten that feels pretty good so yeah that's needs a bit of a rebuild i'll rebuild this fully i won't bother filming it there's loads of videos on youtube for that and um get that in i'm also going to going to remove this see that this hasn't been taken apart before still got the original rivets on there but i have um removed start to remove the screws because they're all just like dead heads so i'm going to look in there as well just to check the condition out make sure nothing obvious is burnt and then replace those with nice new stainless screws that way i can get in and out because that one there's got like virtually no head left on it at all so yes i'm liking it a lot nice one right yep so here we go so this is a common thing with the um sinclair c drives that haven't been used for ages boom here we go perfect example so two brushes which are just um basically seized partially seized into their, into their slot obviously as soon as you remove the the um this aspect here these things here should just pop out so yes and you can see a bit of pushing like that boom and that one there is actually much much more solid so that all i'll do is i'll just push it i'll lubricate it push it from the other side and then clean up the housing but yeah this is a good example of when you go to um try a sinkler that hasn't used for ages you press it you, you'll hear that you'll feel or hear the relay click in there but no motor and yes it's usually because like one or two of the brushes is um seized and i'll put a bit, a bit of anti-seize um grease on those two once they're released job done quick look at this again i'll be cleaning up this here with a bit of fine um sandpaper and then cleaning out each of these grooves with a little knife blade just so you don't get any crap in between um this bearing here is isn't is sorry it's very very smooth but um just feels like it needs a bit of lubrication that's all um these ones here are obviously beautiful and this one here feels normal so that's good um and then i'd like to say i'll clean up everything else and restore and lubricate it as required but yes that's a perfect example there nice right then yep so don't worry everyone the rear light is out um i have rebuilt the front wheel um I've, what i've done is i've used my best quality old Sinclair original tyres because I thought it would be nice to have it original at the moment with new inner tubes of course as well um, on this but yeah these are pretty nice tyres all around obviously hence why I'm using them um, unsided on what I'm going to do with the brakes I've left um, just a standard caliper on for the moment and just lubricated it and all that sort of stuff got original brake pads in there but um, I will probably possibly change it for a disc brake kit and that's certainly if I was keeping it and using it it would definitely have a disc brake kit on it but of course sometimes it's nice to have it fully original and people might prefer original although the disc brake kit is amazing um on the bottom here though I'm talking about originality i had to use a reproduction 3d printed components just here to go along with the original chain tensioner which i've obviously cleaned and um, lubricated so that's fine that actually that actually um seemed to fit very very well so that's that's nice they used to be a little bit bad but this new set seems pretty damn sweet 
Um, unseize that screw there, the one that had no head on it, so that can come out later if I need to take the uh, electronics apart to fix or anything. Um, rebuilt the motor in the gearbox, it's lovely, lovely inside, which you would have just seen on the video, I expect. Um, all the drive gear, all the drive gear and the brakes, all that sort of stuff. Chain seems really good, I've cleaned the um, the um, gear here and stuff and lubricated it, so that feels, chain feels smooth when it runs round, you know, from around here. It all feels good as well, so I kind of feel it's potentially good. Obviously, if um, you go to use it and you're pedaling and it skips off, then it might have like a sort of you know a seized number of links, but and then you replace the chain. But it's 30 quid parts, so it's nice to sort of reuse it if you can. And this one, if it seems good, again, the best tyres, original original Sinclair tyres on there, cleaned them. Um, uh, new inner tube on this one, and this one here looked like it had a sort of relatively new inner tube in, in, the, in the garage, a used one. But um, it looks in really good, good condition, so I fit that on there and there. But that's a brand new one there, brand new one at the top, and say one of my old supplies there, and that all feels good. Um, yes, excellent. So I do have a rear disc brake kit as well. I could fit. Right over. then, yeah. Let's look at the um, electronics then. So I've just removed literally one screw, and I thought you know what, might open it up together. But first of all, let me just show you the wiring loom. So it's just been off before because there's no washers on there. So I've asked to uh, see if I've got any left over or talk to Mr. Graham Garlic for those. But yes, you can see there, there's loads of corrosion all over that. So yeah, definitely put a new one of those on. There's no point messing around with that on there. Whilst you know, you might get it to run. There's just no point. So yep, I'll put a new one of those on in a minute. So that's cool. Let me pan over here then and have a look at this together. So yeah, one screw's open. First of all, if you can see that, that's the sort of state we're talking about, tons and tons of corrosion all over that. Okay, so that definitely needs a tidy up, and probably a new pin set. What happens is um, they tend to crack around, you know, the, um, the joint. So you get like a, like a, either a dry joint, or basically if you look exceptionally close once you clean it up and you wobble the pin, you'll see that there's a crack around the solder. So again, they either need a new pin set in there, or you need to um, re-solder them all. But obviously, if the pins are all crusty, they're, they're basically coated in like um, um, some sort of metal. So if you, obviously if you scrape it off, you go back to the metal underneath that. So that's why you just lob a new, a new, a new pin set in. So yeah, obviously, this is literally the first time. Okay, standard spider nests. All right, let's have a look at this then. Yes, yeah, so you can see that it's got a ton of dirt that's obviously blown in, blown in there somehow over the time. I guess it's sort of gone around this corner. I guess it's gone around this corner here and kind of blown in because I've never ever seen that level unless that's some sort of like spiders. That's like rock solid. Anyway, that's that. Yeah, you can see instantly you've got a an R twenty one blown situation. So yeah, you need to replace that. Hopefully, then that might then cause this to work um, potentially. Rest of it, the rest of it, see, normally looks decent. So, normally it's the pins and R21, that's the common things on the pod. You know, um, sometimes you have to like reseat this, sometimes, but obviously, in, in, if you lift it up, you lift it up very carefully. So, you slide it underneath there, underneath there, and then you lift it up gently. But anyway, I'm going to clean all that up now, and then I shall um, get a new pin set in there, to be honest with you, just stick a new lot in because I've got loads of those. A new R21, and I'm going to put the new red connector on. I won't bother filming any of that yet, but that's basically what the plan is. Right, yeah, morning all. Quick update on the uh, 6R Sinclair C5 barn find. So I thought, you know what, we might as well restore this one now. Um, this will only take, you know, like a, sort of a week or two, roughly, I would say, to, to finish this off, that's all, in the spare time. And then um, the other one I can do sort of later on in my summer holidays. So yeah, as you see, I stripped it down. What I did do yesterday is I put John's um, disc brake kit on it, because I thought, you know what, the front brakes on the Sinclair C5, no matter what anyone says, are rubbish. And the disc brakes are much, much better. And I had this set as well from John in exchange for um, side panels. So I thought, you know what, let's just lob it on the C5. Um, I'll also modify the hub cap on this one as well, as I've got a spare, just to fit around the caliper. Uh, but anyway, um, 20 minutes roughly. All off. Good stuff, nothing seized. Um, I've kept all the... Uh, 
wire and etc still attached as you see there and obviously if you just do that you can just hold the motor and then you can just lift off the whole lot off the c5 super easy the wiring is still in place there for the um for the uh, accelerator and the horn switch although i can't find a horn on the c5 so something's gone on there maybe it was on there maybe they removed it I'm not sure either way i'll look into that at some point um i'm now going to strip down the chassis and rub it all down um, I personally like to do a um, zinc 182 prime it and then I'll put on some regular spray uh, grey primer and then the grey top coats and I normally lacquer it as well just whilst I'm at it just to give it additional protection but yeah that is looking good and obviously I'll paint that um, black of course I'll rub down the hoop paint that black and um, go from there but yeah that's looking it's looking good obviously it's uh, never been off not, never been off before original still got the uh, remains of the um little stickers there in place which obviously all the are trash now so they'll be going original cable ties as well and they're, they're in the trash now right up hi all good afternoon a quick update on sinclair c5 6r which was one of the genuine barn finds from netley marsh i picked up two of them uh, a week or two ago you'll see my videos on youtube and what i've done is i basically stripped off the body shell off the chassis stripped down the chassis completely uh, in order to basically refurbish it all to re repaint it all rub it all down all that kind of stuff um, I've not done anything in there other than tidying up the wiring, so I'll, I'll still be doing like grease removing and all that sort of stuff, putting in quick release connectors, you know, etc. Fixing electronics, etc. etc. Um, I'll be also putting on new um, side stickers here, and obviously cleaning off all of this years and years of marks and abuse and all that sort of stuff to get it back to get it clean, as clean as it could be, basically. Um, if I quickly pan over here. the cars so yeah so what i've done with the chassis again the chassis had loads of um surface um corrosion on it basically so no actual rot on it just surface corrosion over that plus the hoop where it was being exposed and old and all the rest of it so i've done the hoop and the chassis in a, a rub, rub, rub it down with a good layer of uh, one eight so two layers of one eight two on it um, and then i then painted the chassis in uh, this one here this particular one the h gray 03 and then lacquered it and then the rear hoop i've done in um, satin black so had a nice delivery here of um lots of good quality paint for all the components i like to do my stuff in satin black so it looks really good in the sinclair um quick oh look i'll mention that thing there in a second quick pan in here so i've got this to um, repair later so it might have other issues on the control box and also this but i can certainly know that i can see that it's an r21 that's blown plus the pin set has corrode, corroded to like a bandit so i'm gonna um put, yeah, put an r21 in and try to just put a new pin set in and then see if that works you know um and if it doesn't work obviously i'll take it all out and check it all over properly etc but it might just be those two things otherwise all the other bits and bobs for the sinclair pretty much down here so i've already installed john's latest mark three front disc brake which has the tubes there for the, on uh, the 25 mil tubes which um is a very very nice touch so thank you john and thanks for putting that touch into the kits so sort of going forward from handlebar cover obviously fully rebuilt motor which is very nice rub down the handlebars again all the components in there everything is in there has been cleaned and checked um, new um, brake cable for the back, uh, sorry for the front, sorry, I'll reuse the one for the back probably because it's, it's in good condition. Cleaned all the rubbers, all the grips, all the bits and bobs there, the disc brake kit bits and bobs in there. Um, so it's got a few new nuts and bolts, a few new stainless steel washers for the body, um, it's got new stainless steel, sorry, new zinc, I believe they're zinc coated, um, the four bolts that hold it together, got those as well. Cool, had a bit of result on the chain tensioner, so when I Took the chain tension off last week. I thought, oh, it's missing the uh, this, this, these two pits here, which I thought was very unfortunate because I then had to then fit these 3D printed ones, which whilst I appreciate that you know, you know, they can be made, they're not as good as the originals, so they don't fit um, don't fit too good. Don't have the hole in the middle to put the cable tie through, and they're just a bit loose. So a little, just not quite as good basically, but again, I appreciate that that's what's available. Um, but I had a result. I was literally like rubbing down this on the grass, looked over, and then found the two pieces in the middle of the, in the middle of the lawn. They obviously just fallen off, and uh, were resting on the floor. So I've just um, got those out now, cleaning in some white spirit, which you saw just there. Which is that's a major result because I love the original parts, are amazing. 
pan over here. Um, chassis, like I mentioned, it's been fully rubbed down. Um, and then as best as I could, obviously, with bear in mind, there's a lot of pitting on it. Um, zinc 182, and then the grey, then the lacquer. Um, and again, the handlebar, so the uh, brake levers, rubbed them all down, primed them, black satin. Again, they were, everything put onto you had a layer of corrosion um, on it, um, particularly the chassis and the hoop. Hoop had virtually no paint left on it, but yeah, that's looking um, much better now. Um, that came out beautifully, handlebar stem, and that's actually really, really good condition, so I'm pleased with that. Um, again, these had loads of corrosion on them, so I've rubbed them down, got them as best as I could with primer. These two are made up, I think, are made of aluminium. Um, the cranks and they're absolutely fine, so they, again, they look rubbed down, they're absolutely spot on, those two are, so that's good. So yeah, really just like, and the, and the front fork, that's, that came up really nicely as well, that's in pretty good condition. It's kind of just like the rear, the rear of the C5 mostly around that rear section there that had also where it's been exposed over the numbers of years but yes there we go cool so i'm going to do a full uh full sort of restoration um best as best as i can and then yeah another sinclair c5 on the road to enjoy nice one